हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ एन एक्यूमुलेटर बैटरी ऑफ एम एफ सिक्स वोल्ट इज एन ओम व्हेन इट इज फुली डिस्चार्ज एज द बैटरी गेट्स चार्ज अप इट्स इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस डिक्रीजेस टू वन ओम द बैटरी इन इट्स कंप्लीटली डिस्चार्ज स्टेट इज कनेक्टेड टू अ चार्जर विच मेंटेन्स ए कॉन्स्टेंट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ऑफ नाइन वोल्ट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द करंट थ्रू द बैटरी इन टू डिफरेंट स्नेरियो वन इज जस्ट आफ्टर द कनेक्शन आर मेड and number 2 is after a long time when it is completely charged so for the first case where the battery is completely discharged so in that case the circuit will look like this this is the battery of 6 volt the internal resistance at the discharge state is 10 ohm and the battery 9 volt is connected like this so in this particular scenario net voltage in the circuit is going to be 9 minus 6 that is 3 volt and the resistance of the circuit is 10 ohm so the current flow in this situation is going to be 3 upon 10 that means 0.3 ampere whereas in the second scenario when the battery is connected for a long time then it means the battery is fully charged and at that point of time the internal resistance of the battery will become 1 ohm only so again the supply voltage is 9 volt and this battery is of 6 volt so again the net voltage remains same that is 3 volt and this time the resistance is only 1 ohm so resistance is 1 ohm so the current in the circuit will be 3 upon 1 that means 3 ampere So this is the solution of this problem.